I set my alarm for 9.35 a.m. This is normally the time that I get up around. I was super exhausted the night before, so I just really do not want to get out of bed at all. Trying to wake me up is honestly like trying to wake up a bear. So after I'm done being lazy, I put on my glasses and grab my phone to turn off my alarm. Then I open up my phone and I go to Instagram. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me. I am scrolling through and just liking whatever pictures that I missed the previous day. I go to my followers and see if I have any new follow requests. Then I'm going to Twitter. I love Twitter, so I'm just going to scroll through my feed and this, uh, this elephant tweet came up a lot. I'm not really sure why, but elephants are ironically one of my favorite animals. And so yeah, just this is me not wanting to get up. You can, you can. I'm finally getting out of bed and once I get out of bed, I go straight over to open up my shades because my room is so dark. So I like to have a lot of natural light shining in. After I open up my shades, I go and make my bed. Uh, some days I make my bed, some days I don't. It really depends on how I'm feeling. I love my big fluffy pillows. I have so many pillows on my bed and they're so comfy. Next, I take my faux fur blanket that I got for Christmas and I just fold that and put that on the end of my bed. After I make my bed, I go downstairs and make my breakfast. So I first grab a bowl out of one of my cabinets Next, I am grabbing my Nature's Path Oatmeal with Blueberry Flax. Flax is so good for you, so I love eating this. Then I grab my fruit, which consisted of strawberries and grapes, and then I open up the package and pour it into the bowl. Next, I go over to the sink and add a little bit of water. And then I put it in the microwave for about a minute and 20 seconds. Not too much because then the oatmeal gets super weird. Then I am waiting for my oatmeal to cook and then I take it out of the microwave. I actually got burned here so I had to grab a little mitt and grab the bowl out of the microwave. I'm just gonna put up my hair here because I hate when my hair is in my face when I'm making food and I just don't want a chance of having my hair in my food, that's disgusting. So I'm just gonna chop up some strawberries and put them in my oatmeal. I love having strawberries in anything. Now I'm gonna eat my oatmeal. <laughs> this was actually extremely hot. I definitely burned my mouth, but I was way too anxious and hungry to wait to eat my food, so I just ate it right away. Finally, the oatmeal cooled off and I was able to eat it. It was super good, but once I am finished with that, I am finally gonna go upstairs and take a shower to get ready for my day. Now that I'm all done with my shower, I'm going to go to my room and put on a t-shirt and shorts just to get ready and then I will pick out my outfit after, but I am just towel drying my hair here and then I am going to use my Redken One United Spray. It has 25 different uses. I love this spray. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's a heat protectant. Honestly, everything you can think of. Then I am going to take my wet brush and brush through my hair first before I use a brush that has a little bit rougher bristles. And then I'm going to take that brush and make sure all the knots are out. Then I'm going to use my Moroccan oil and just put a dime size amount into the palm of my hand and rub it through the ends of my hair just to make it soft and some extra protection. And then I'm just going to finish off by brushing my hair. Next, I'm just gonna put my hair up to wash my face and do my makeup. I'm gonna start off with cleaning my face with the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I really like this cleanser because it is so gentle on the skin and I have such sensitive skin and redness, so this does not irritate my skin at all. Then I really like to focus on my nose just because that is my oiliest area and then rub the cleanser over my eyes and then rinse my face off.
Next, I'm going to use the Sycopair Tiger Grass Serum by Dr. Jart, and I really like the squeeze bottle for the top because it puts the perfect amount into your hand, and if you have inflamed and sensitive skin like I do, this is the perfect product for you because it really does calm and soothe the skin because of the specific ingredients in it, and then I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Then I'm going to use the Biosyn Squalene and Peptide Eye Gel. I love this product because I've only been using it for a short time and I have already seen results. This decreases dark circles and puffiness under the eyes. I'm going to take my ring finger and lightly dab the product under my eyes and then under my brow bone as well. I'm going to let that eye gel dry and then apply my Nurture Me Moisturizing Creme. I have never used a moisturizer that did not make my skin flare up after using it because most moisturizers do for me. Then I'm going to use the Caudalie Grape Water Mist. I'm telling you, hydration, hydration, hydration is the key to happy skin. Now that I'm all finished with my skincare, I'm going to brush my teeth and then rinse my mouth out. I will finish off with using my Scope mouthwash and then rinse my mouth out again. and then move on to putting my contacts in. Next, I will blow dry my hair. I normally try to air dry it because I want to keep as much heat off of it as possible to avoid heat damage, just to keep it healthy, but for today, I will just blow dry it. And then I'm going to put my hair up and move on to putting the Dr. Brandt Pores No More product on. The only place that bothers me is my nose, so that is where I'm going to apply it to reduce the pores in that area. Now I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever Step 1 Redness Correcting Primer. I hate the redness on my cheeks, so I'm just going to apply it all over to help hide the blotchiness. Next, I'm going to take my Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Green as well, because whatever the primer did not cover, I use this to correct any red spots that were missed. Then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. After that, I'll use my Naked Skin Concealer in the color Light Neutral, and in my Christmas video, I said that I use the Tarte Shape Tape, but I only want to use that when I have foundation on, just because it is such a heavy and brightening concealer, and that you can tell that you have concealer on, so I just use the Naked Skin one for a more natural look. Then I'm just going to take a beauty blender and blend that all out. Now I'm going to use my Dior Show Maximizer 3D Eyelash Primer. I am being serious, I cannot live or do my makeup without this product. I have like negative three eyelashes and they are so short, so this really helps with lengthening them. Otherwise, it looks like I have no mascara on. The next step is I put on the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. This really does help with lengthening my eyelashes. The final step is putting on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a volumizing step because I have no volume either, so this mascara works really well and it makes them look super full. Then I'm just going to repeat all these steps to my other eye, obviously. Now I will take my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and then I will use my Morphe R2 brush to apply my bronzer. Then I'm just going to apply the bronzer all over my face so I don't look ghostly and create some definition to it. Then I will bronze my neck so everything matches. Next I'm going to use my Lexus Ren ColourPop highlighter in the color She's Here to Stay. And then I will use my Morphe M510 brush to apply my highlighter. And don't forget to highlight your nose. Now I'm going to set my makeup with the Mario Badescu Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea Spray. After my makeup is all done, I will take my hair out of the ponytail and quickly brush through it to get ready to straighten my hair. As you can see, there's a huge crease from my ponytail, which is not good. So I will use my Chi Straightener, and since my hair is already pretty straight naturally, besides the crease from putting it up, I will just run the straightener through my hair to get rid of the weird waves. To finish off my hair, I will use the Wave Finishing Cream to help contain all my little baby hairs and the wispies that I have. Now that I am all done with my hair and makeup, I will move on to my favorite part, which is picking out my outfit. After my outfit is picked out, I will put on my Dove deodorant and my five favorite rings. You 
Then I put on my Juicy Couture perfume. It smells amazing. It is my favorite perfume I've ever used and I just stick to using this one as my main one. And to top off my look, I take my Vaseline, which personally works the best for me for my dry lips. I'm going to meet an old friend for lunch today, so here is my outfit that I picked out for the day. My bomber jacket is from Nordstrom from the brand Mural. The black turtleneck is from Topshop. My belt is from Princess Polly. My jeans are from Pac Sun from the brand John Galt, and my shoes are from Steve Madden. Here's my final hair and makeup look, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. There are definitely more videos coming very soon, so watch out for those. Subscribe if you have not already, like this video, comment, and follow me on all social media. I love you all. See you soon. Bye!